Good morning, St. Paul's. Good morning. My name is Matthew Abram, and I'm a current senior at Drew Charter High School. And while reading the gospel scripture for today, it made me wonder what generosity really is. Webster defines it as being kind to others. And in the message, Zacchaeus was a rich tax collector who wanted to see Jesus when he came to town. But because of his height challenges, he had to climb a sycamore tree just to see him over the large crowd. Jesus saw him and he told him that he wanted to spend the night with him. And Zacchaeus said he would. When people told him that he was a sinner and they were like mad at him, he told Jesus that he would give back to the people less fortunate than him and he would pay back anybody that he cheated four times the amount. That was very generous of Zacchaeus. When Zacchaeus vowed to give 50% of his wealth to the poor, it made me think of a time that I gave back to my community and volunteered with my godmother at Tri-Cities Church and helped them out with their food pantry. I would wake up at 8 a.m. on Saturday mornings, which I never really wanted to do, but, and I would go out to the church and work with a group of older people. We would pack perishable and non-perishable boxes and set them out for people to pick up. There, people would come from all walks of life just to pick up food boxes. Since I was one of the younger boys, I was tasked with moving the boxes into people's cars or carts. And the truth is, the first time when they asked me to come out a few months ago, the only reason I went was for my service hours to graduate. <laughs> but after going out that morning, I felt like it had a very positive impact on my life, on the rest of my day, really. Going out and doing good in my community made me feel accomplished. I realized that I made a big part in giving a positive change in someone else's life, and it felt really good. A few weeks ago, I went back to work at the pantry, and although I've already met my service hour requirements to graduate, I really wanted to go because I wanted to experience that joy again. Another time I felt this joy from generosity was actually here at St. Paul's. As an EYC member, we do a lot of projects and activities, like cleaning up the church or going on white water rafting trips. But one of my most fondest memories with EYC was when we went out during the holiday seasons, Christmas time, and we gave poinsettias to church members who were confined to their homes or sick. This memory stayed with me because during a time of so much holiday cheer, I realized that everyone wasn't as fortunate as me. And some people had to miss out on some of those festivities due to being ill or not being able to get out their home. When we surprised them with these poinsettias, I could see the joy it brought them. It made me realize how contagious joy really was and how pinning a smile on someone else's face can ultimately keep a smile on yours. These are just a few examples of how I learned that the blessing of being generosity with my time and talents is powerful. I tried to practice generosity in my day-to-day -day life. And for instance, one of my current classes at this year at school, we are working on organizing a community service project to help the homeless. Our class brainstormed starting an undergarments drive and to help keep people less fortunate than us warm during the cold weather season. I volunteered to help decorate the poster and spread the message around school. I really enjoyed that. The gospel message ends with Jesus saying, today salvation has come to this house because he too is a son of Abraham. To me, this means that we can all find forgiveness and joy by giving back, just like how Zacchaeus did. So I ask that you all go out and get involved with your community, St. Paul's, or here at St. Paul's, 
And it doesn't have to be some huge service project. It could be something simple, like serving on a ministry, or on a committee, or making a pledge. It's the fact that you took the time out to give back that counts. Thank you.